Hi everyone, good to see you. Let's talk about the top three gate analysis apps. Gate analysis software and gate analysis apps are really essential to every running expert. And it's important to have a good gate analysis app that you're using. Most of, the, most of them are apps these days. There is software out there, but more likely you're going to be using an app on an iPhone or maybe a smartphone of some sort or maybe a tablet. So the apps are the thing we talk about the most. Software used to be the case that you'd get some software or you'd have someone create software for you. This is still happening, especially at the university level or specific big corporations or potentially hospital systems. However, we just don't see it happening quite as much. And for practitioners, especially ones in clinic providing a running gate analysis, usually we're seeing them gravitate towards using an app that can give them really good detail and enhance the running gate analysis. So there's a couple of things that are important to think about when it comes to a running gate analysis. First off, these may be things to include the video playback, being able to share your video, and other things like drawing tools or being able to make comments on your video. Additionally, with running gate analysis apps, it's also really important to think about storage and what storage the app provides, whether it's charged and the price, and then also what other features you might get with it. Do you get communication with the client or patient you're seeing, or do you potentially get some type of um, transparency between being able to get a video coming in and then being able to analyze it, or do you own the video? So all those things are important to think about. However, for the practitioner that maybe isn't using an app, maybe you're just starting out and maybe you're thinking to yourself, I'd like to use just my smartphone with slow motion and use that slow motion video to analyze my runner's gait. Certainly that can be a great way to start, but you'd want to gravitate towards using an app that can enhance your uh, your gait analysis and certainly um, better your outcomes, better the in-depth analysis that you're doing. Now, before we get into the top three running gait analysis apps, I want to give a quick disclaimer. I, in Solutions Education, do not endorse, sponsor, or promote any of these applications. These are purely for educational purposes. Um, all of these, I think, are potentially good options, but at the end of the day, it's important that you make the decision for yourself. This is purely for education. So the first app I wanna get started with is called OnForm. And OnForm is the leader in running gate analysis apps. They have recently acquired Huddle Technique, if any of you remember that app, um, and they are quickly being preferred among running gate experts. Uh, some of the features they in have include slow motion video playback. You can also do voiceovers where you're talking over the video. And it's really easy to share some of these videos with um, being able to text patients, being able to send it via airdrop, being able to even just share them a link. All those things are pretty easy. You can also use OnForm with golf and several other sports as well. And you can do a side-by-side -side comparison of the videos so you, the runner can see the before and after of the way they were running. Uh, lastly, you do get several other features such as storage. They store the videos for you. And also you can import other videos in and then uh, use them. So if you're doing a gate analysis virtually, you may have someone take a video send it in to you and you can do the analysis for them. Now, OnForm has a free trial and they offer about 10 days, excuse me, 10 videos that you're able to do um, for free and you're able to analyze them and share them. But their play, paid platform is $4.99 a year. And that cost can be a little bit inhibitive for some folks. Some folks find it a little too expensive. OnForm is also HIPAA compliant, which is helpful for healthcare practitioners, and certainly um, it has a lot of bells and whistles. Really, OnForm has a lot going on. It has a lot of bells and whistles. There's a reason a lot of people gravitate towards it, and it also tends to have pretty clear video quality as well. So OnForm is certainly a great option if you're looking for a great running gate analysis app. The other app that a lot of people like is called Dartfish. 
And Dartfish certainly can be a very popular app. Um, one of the reasons it's popular is because it combines a very basic app, basic features with a pretty attractive price point. $84 a year is pretty easy to stomach. And it's certainly something that most people can um, be able to do and, and be able to afford. Now, on the flip side, Dartfish doesn't have some of the features other apps have. For example, it is not HIPAA compliant. It also doesn't allow you to do certain things like do an extensive voiceover. You can write some edits onto the videos. And it does have slow motion video playback. It also does allow you to draw with arrows and circles and make measurements. So if you're trying to do a joint angle measurement, that could potentially be a good way to get a estimate or get a uh, rough joint angle measurement. Uh, you're also able to do still shots and um, you can do a split screen. So you can compare the before and after of the runner. Uh, for sharing, really, it's just a clickable link that patients and runners will get, and they can follow that to the Dartfish page. It will also do storage for you and store as many videos as you want. However, as you do get upwards in videos, and over time, some of the older videos will disappear, um, primarily because you'll need to make a little space. So the storage isn't unlimited unless it is their very top tier plan. Additionally, Dartfish can be a really, really good uh, app to use. Some clinicians voice some concerns over the video quality, and some also talk about the limitations of the drawing tools, whether it's being able to analyze something and get that precise measurement, or whether it's being able to um, use enough of the tools to accurately pinpoint on the analysis where you're using it. The third app I want to talk about is called Ouchie. And Ouchie is a new type of gait analysis software that really embraces AI and virtual technology. And some of you might cringe when you hear this because you might say, well, I don't want AI and technology to do my analysis for me, but that is part of what they're doing. They are, according to their website, they do a, a virtual running gait analysis. So you upload a video, you upload that video, and they look at things like vertical oscillation, ground reaction time, time between steps, the number of steps you're taking, foot strike, uh, leg cycle, and then also angles at each body uh, part. So they basically have a normative set of data that they're using. They're able to then say, okay, you are in or outside of that norm. You have a certain amount of trunk lean. You have a certain amount of knee flexion. You have a certain amount of plantar flexion or dorsiflexion or whatever it is while you're running. Now, certainly a gait analysis video being analyzed by a um, virtual technology and being able to compare to an algorithm to get um, get a standard analysis, it sounds like a pretty attractive idea. However, running gate experts have certainly voiced concerns about the reliability. There isn't necessarily studies out here confirming that it is a valid or reliable app to use. Also, we are voicing concerns over the fact that this app is Analyzing gait, we're not sure exactly what the normative data is that they're comparing it to. Are they saying 10 or 15 or 20 degrees of overstriding is okay? If any overstriding is okay, are they saying that it's best to land on your forefoot or midfoot or rear foot? These are all questions we'd like to ask. So there's some concerns about what their normative data is because truly there is no normative data for everyone. Every runner is different which bleeds into the next topic as well. Once you have an analysis, can you really give cookie cutter advice such as form corrections to make or corrective exercises to do or education about the way you're running? All those questions would be great to get answers to. However, there may be a space for an app like Ouchie when it comes to being able to give patients some feedback between visits. Now, maybe it's a limitation of what patients can actually use. Maybe those patients that you're advising them to run a specific, specific way that's outside of a 
quote unquote normal type of gait, that might not be the use case here. However, it could be a good way for runners to potentially get feedback between visits and help them carry out some of the things you want them to do. More research is needed here, more developments needed here, and certainly the idea sounds interesting. It's gaining speed, but we'd be interested to see where it goes. So the big question is, why isn't there more running gait analysis apps? And this is a question I've had for quite some time. Um, I've used a bunch of different apps in the past, certainly things like Coach's Eye, which is unfortunately no longer available. They've now transferred over to a more tennis-focused app. And then other apps in the past, um, such as uh, Huddle was used as well. That was now bought by Onform. And there's been a whole bunch of apps used over the years. I've even used some of the custom apps or custom software that was created for hospital systems. And while a lot of it can be very helpful, unfortunately, there's just not a lot of apps in the space. It seems like there's a trend for a lot of the folks, especially in the um, um technology space of running to be working on things like wearable technology. These are the companies that we know like Stride and Runscribe where they're using wearable technology to gather data and be able to feed that into running gait analysis or biomechanics. And while there's certainly a place for wearable tech, and that's a conversation for a different day, it also is very much needed to have some reliable running gate analysis apps and software that we can use to be able to analyze the way people run. So currently the main options are Onform and Dartfish in terms of doing a traditional gate analysis, but hopefully there'll be some other ones in the future. Well, we certainly want to learn more about running gate analysis apps, and we certainly would like to keep an eye on the development of these apps. These things are very important to performing a good running gait analysis. And certainly we wanna help you do the best running gait analysis you can. So if there's anything else we can help you with, please let us know or check out some of our other content about uh, running gait analysis, running shoes, and all the other information we have. Until next time, take care and please let us know if you have any comments or questions you'd like to get answered.